been using Olive Garden as a punchline. <laughs> and before I left my house, I told my girlfriend, like, oh, it's an early show. When I come back, you maybe we'll go get something to eat, like Olive Garden or something. <laughs> like, I am so excited to go eat Olive Garden after this. And, uh, but not if you guys are going to be there. I don't need you guys making fun of me. <laughs> Have you ever had their soup salad and breadsticks? It's phenomenal. I'm starving. I haven't eaten yet today. I'm going to get breakfast after this. All right. Uh, let's see. Who do we have coming up? All right. Uh, so now we are into the official uh, students here. Um, this guy coming to the stage, he, uh, I actually saw, so I was teaching the class. I met him. Uh, he took the class. And then uh, I had a show at the Bonkers in uh, Daytona. There was like a bunch of people. I ended up getting so drunk I blacked out. Forgot he was there. And then, like, the next the Tuesday on class, he's like, so when you were at the show and you were drinking, I got a question about this. I was like, you were there? <laughs> so I haven't drank in, like, 14 days. Uh, please put your hands together. Welcome to stage Steve Woods right here, everybody. Clap it up for Steve Woods as he makes his way up here. He hasn't drank in 14 days. Quitter. Oh, my name is Steve. I am from Florida originally. I'm a child of the 80s. How many people remember the mullet? This guy. That guy right there. Good for him. We had... Long in front. Okay. Well, the concept of the mullet is business in the front, party in the back. Party all the time. There's those guys. And then there were... There were the mullets with the rat tails. Remember the long rat tail in the back? That was a, that was a Florida thing. That's right. And uh, now with COVID, we have the 21st century mullet. How many people work from home? Do the Zoom thing? No, really? Just me? Okay. 21st century mullet. Business from the waist up. Party from the waist down. See? Now, you're going to go, when, when you, the next time you watch the president, you're going to be sitting there thinking, is he wearing pants? Because <laughs> you never know. I mean, you know, it is, it is what it is, and he probably wanders around without pants most of the time. But let's, let's not go political. All right. So, ladies, I am divorced. I know. Hold yourself back. <laughs> Face for radio, voice for print. I know. I got it. Um, I was dating a woman from uh, J-Date. She was a perfect 10. I mean, in reality, she was a 4. Her boat was a 6. Her name was Niyama. She got the she got the boat in the divorce. It was an ark. It's a little biblical joke for you there. All right. Um, I'm, I'm not on JD because, you know, I'm not Jewish. That helps. Uh, but I'm, I'm not opposed to meeting women anywhere, to be honest with you. I was in Target. There was a woman, she was bent over. Now, listen, ladies, yoga pants. Love the yoga pants. She was bent over. I think she was picking up a, a, a case of water or something. And I was like, oh, that is fit. The camel toe, perfect. Okay, loved it. She stood up, already pregnant. Damn, missed it. <laughs> Missed it. But see, here's the thing with the here's the thing with the yoga pants. You never. And I'm gonna go with this because I, you know, something new. Um, take the yoga pants off. It's kind of like unwrapping the deli sandwich. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. That was new. I just added that part. <laughs> On a side note, though, what's the deal with pricing? I mean, Target because I was too lazy to go to Walmart. And uh, I'm buying a half a gallon ice cream. It's $2.79. And a box of dog biscuits is $4.99. Why is that? I can tell you my dog likes ice cream. Though. <laughs> she is definitely an ice cream lover. Uh, all right, so uh, some weird trends. Uh, there's this new trend. Maybe you've heard of it. It's called vabbing. Have you heard of that? Okay, so... For those who are uninformed, as I was, vabbing is a um, lady uh, using a little of her natural spice, putting it on certain, on certain parts. Um, and, that's, and that's okay. I know it's kind of gross. Um, until we get to the next part. 
if she's got a little cheese thing going, you know, got to, that gives a whole new meaning to the word pearl necklace. I don't want to spend all I'm sorry, that's dark, dark, dark. All right. Um, all right. So as I said, I'm from Florida. Um, <clears throat> one of the things, you know, these are things that you you don't usually hear when you tell people you're from Florida. I'm from Florida. Really? What exit? <laughs> Those are the New Jersey people in here. Uh huh. You tell people you're from Florida, they go forget about it. Or I'm from Florida. Oh, you got any weed? Oh, we hear that all the time. <laughs> I'm from Florida. Radical dude. That's California. If I gotta explain it, it's probably not gonna work. Um, you're from Florida. Oh, so you voted for Biden. <laughs> I know. That's the only political. I promise. I don't do political. Um, you're from Florida. Really? Who's your Who's your dental plan with? <laughs> exactly. All right. <laughs> oh, you're from Florida. Where's your mask? Yeah, that whole mask thing. We didn't We didn't really pick up on that at all. We were We were fighting it. Okay. So here's here's the last few, and I'm gonna just read these off because there's a lot of them. Um, all right, so play along. So uh, he's a 10, but he's got a micro penis. <laughs> um, she, he's an eight, but he's got really jacked up toes. Uh, let's see. Um, he's a six, but he's got two cats. Uh, he's a two, but he's the male version of you. <laughs> yeah. The, the guy with the six and the two cats? <laughs> Guilty. That's me. I know, I know. I probably overestimated the six part. <clears throat> um, all right, he's a nine, but he still lives with his ex. With his ex. He's, a, he's a seven and a half, but he's five, two. Uh, he's, he's a perfect 10, but he's still got baby mama dramas going on. He, those are the keepers. Uh, all right, and for the guys, she's a 10, but she still claps when the plane lands. <laughs> We've all seen them. Uh, she's a nine, but she's six, seven. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh, she's a nine, but she has summer teeth. She's from Florida. Summer teeth, if you're not familiar, some are here, some are not. <laughs> oh, let's see. Um, she, I'm not wearing my glasses because I'm old. Uh, she's, she's a nine, but uh, her back looks like she's wearing a sweater. Yeah, she's a four, but she's really into your brother. <laughs> she, uh, she's an eight, but you're not her favorite. <laughs> She's a seven, but she talks about marriage and being a stay-at-home wife with no <laughs> cooking skills at all. All right, I'm going to stop there. That's my time. You guys have been great. I say go Gators. Welcome to Florida. Uh, all right, we got a few people grabbing some drinks, so if you want to uh, grab a drink.